hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this particular video so this is actually the part 12 of our laravel tutorial for beginner series and in the previous video we have laid out the basic structure of our form to enable us to submit data using our form into our database so in this video we're going to continue working on with this form and let's try to add some uh, template for our messages inside our create page so let's go to our views and let's create another directory here so this should be in uh, inc and then this uh, we will create a new file here called messages that blade that PHP and then we're going to include this file into our uh, app that play that PHP so we're just going to configure first this messages that play that PHP for now and uh, first let's just check if the count for errors is greater than zero so let's just close first the if statement and we're going to define a for each here and let's just close the for each below and inside this for each is we're going to iterate the errors and this is an object so all and then as error and of course we're going to define a very basic alert to our user by using the bootstrap alert element so this should have a class uh, alert and of course because this is an error so it should be danger right and of course the error itself to display and also we're going to check for um, messages for session coming from our page so session and then if it has a success value so we're just going to end the end if here so just bear with me guys because I'm just going I'm just laying out the messages or the feedback to our user if they have something or if there's if, if there were errors during the process of submitting the information so divs and then of course it should have the alert also alert success and the value of our session and success and then we're just going to do the same for our error coming from the session so this should be error also and instead of success it should be danger and also here is the error okay so we need to include this inside our layout app.blade.php so I, I think somewhere before the main container okay or after the container um, element so we're just going to include the messages here so add and then include and of course the directory and the template messages so save this one and try to let's try to preview it in our page so refresh and then submit so there you go we can see the title field is required and also the body field is required and try to populate the title and then only the body field is required because we don't have the because we did not populate the body of our post so now let's go back to our post controller and continue working with our store function so you remember that we use tinker 
before to populate our database so we can actually use that also in here so post and then equal and then new post and we can use that instance for now so post and then set the title for our post which is the request or the value coming from a request and technically it is the value coming from the form so we, we should specify the input which is the title and then of course we can actually get the value of our body the same thing as the title so request and then the input and of course the body and save this so post and then save then we can redirect to another page or to the post page so return and then redirect to the post page and it should have additional information so with and then of course success so remember we have defined this in our messages uh, that blade that PHP file and this is how you uh, set the value of the message so post created and then something like that and try to save this and let's go back to our browser and try to preview it so refresh and then let's try third post because technically this is the, uh, the third post so post three and then this is the body of the post uh, number three and then submit so it is now redirected to the post page and it has a feedback of post created so the alert message that we have created in our messages that made that PHP so now we have uh, three uh records in our database post one post two and post three and then if you try to click any of this post we can redirect to another page with all the information included or displayed in this post and now i wanted to add a link to create a post because for now we don't have any link here that says we can create a post so let's go back to our app.blade.php file and then we can see here all the links from our navigation the home services blog and about and this is the right side of our navigation so i think we can just copy this nav item here and then paste it on this left side of our navigation so this is um, create post or we can just say add post post and then it should redirect into post create so let's try this so save and then let's go back to our browser and refresh so as you can see we now have the add post link here and it should redirect us to the form once we click it so we have a working link to add post now and I think it's high time for me to add a syntax highlighter for now for the blade templating because as you can see uh, we have all the syntax here or all, all the scripts for our blade templates here but we don't have a syntax highlighter for that all we see is a white text and then uh, I think it's not readable for us so let's go to file and then settings and then packages and then let's try to install or try to go here in, in install and search the, the package language and blade so language blade so it is a syntax highlighter for the blade templating engine use in laravel so we're just going to install this 
So it should enable us to read the uh, syntax of our blade or syntax of the blade much easily. So let's try this and then let's just wait for a few seconds to uh, allow the installation to complete. And I think it's, it is now complete. Let's go back to our file and as you can see, we do have now the syntax highlighter or syntax highlighting for blade templates. And it will, it will be only activated on files that has uh, blade.php file extensions. So I think that's all there is to it for this tutorial and I hope you have learned something from this video. And in the next video, we're going to discuss how to edit and update our uh, records by using our Laravel project. So thank you and see you in the next video.